Yes, I um, I recently backed uh, the Kickstarter for the Mist Linking book, which it came in the mail and it's so beautiful, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like, ah. Uh, it's I really was, rad. I was so happy. It's it's pretty bulky, but considering like they also built it so that people who had uh they had asked they they also created like this little inkwell and pen from the second game um so it came packaged along inside the book in these like cool little secret compartments so it kind of had to be big comparatively and also there's a freaking lcd screen in there that actually plays <laughs> movies so of course it can't be like an actual tiny book um but it's it's amazing and you can stick whatever videos you want in there, as long as it fits in the little, like, uh, memory chip in there. And they, they came preloaded with a bunch of different, uh, of the Mist Linking book cutscenes and stuff like that. And it's just amazing. I don't know. It very well <laughs> worth my money. <laughs> Absolutely. But um, because I kickstarted that, they also gave us, uh, like, the soundtracks to the games and stuff like that, too, which was nice. Heck yeah. Uh, okay, let's try this again. Um, in this little I, I really love this kind of like bronze age looking spaceship thing <laughs> steampunk ass bullshit heck yeah and then we can see there is a keyboard <laughs> <laughs> I love that they let you do that it's so good <laughs> <laughs> me every time I get near a fucking keyboard <laughs> Um, yeah, so we can turn this on. Oh yeah, so we can see that... Uh, clearly we have five sliders here that are sound-based. So, basically, we have to remember what the combination was in the book. So... God. That's why they, that's why they gave us keyboard. <laughs> Thankfully. Um, so for those who are less musically inclined, they can just copy the thing down. Um, but yeah, so basically you have low C. So. Okay, and then low C, I think it was... So I think it was high C. Yeah, I I love musically based puzzles, but I know it's not for everyone considering. <laughs> but like Yeah, sometimes they're a little too hard, but like that seemed acceptable. <laughs> yeah, the fact that they both gave you a keyboard you could fuck around with and then also gave you like the diagram of what the keys are really helps. 
Yeah. If they gave you just, like, the numbers themselves, like, the, like, if they said, like, A sharp or something, if people aren't, have, like, never studied music before, they'd be like, what the fuck is an A sharp? And, like, you know. Oh, well, that's shenanigans. <laughs> Yikes. But yeah, anyway, we have this little book showing up on this uh, little porthole, so let's clicky. And we can actually see um, a flyby view, much like we saw when we first landed in Mist. Whoosh. I love this flyby. <laughs> 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 I'm just laughing because, like, shit like this always makes me think of Navi, <laughs> the Starfucker <laughs> yeah. of Time. Yep. And that classic missed linking book sound, and now we are in another age. Oh, Oops. snap. And we got locked down. <laughs> but yeah, this is a new age. Um, and this is also the age that was described in the book I read, clearly. That's why I picked it out. But, um... Got a nice little water. <laughs> it really does have that very 90s... Ooh, look, we've got, like, screen technology. Touch it. <laughs> no, it's true. And I feel like... Also, that era of when, like, oh, we can do 3D graphics and stuff, so let's have, like, interactive encyclopedias and all that kind of stuff, and it's just, like, so yep. very much that age. It's just, like, I don't know, it's great. <laughs> it's really good. So we have a door here. Obviously not gonna open. Um, got some sliders. With a bunch of random sound effects. Soundlibrary.com. This one cracks me up. Uh, so clearly, this is another sound puzzle, so we have to go and. Uh, out what that combination is. This is maybe not my favorite age. I kind of like it, but like, it's definitely not my favorite age. Yeah. Um, but I do, I do kind of like the sound puzzle stuff. Mm. So let's see, we have a couple ways we can go. There seems to be a tower in the middle of this area so if you can if you can kind of remember that little like t topographic map at the end of the book I believe this is the tiny little like dot that was in the center of some water basically so let's try going up this way you can hear a low rumble So this is probably the area that Atris is talking about that was somehow untouched. There's still some grass and some trees. <laughs> Bob 
bling fountain dot jpeg uh dot wave <laughs> sorry dot wave <laughs> dot wav <laughs> dot wav <laughs> can kind of see oh man i could go for a toasty marshmallow oh man marshmallows that's it's funny you should say that because i'm eating um the s'mores oreo right now <laughs> oh go for one of those too. Do I feel like getting up? Not really. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can see the microphone here next to this uh, fountain, I guess? A mobile bubbling fountain. Oh, there we go. I figured you could click on it. Oh, there it goes. Now it's animating. <laughs> Oh man, speaking... Oh, the s'mores Oreos? They're really good. Yeah, I have a box too. <laughs> like, the, the cookies actually pretty taste pretty graham crackery, and I mean, the filling is always yummy, if you like really sweet uh, filling, so... <laughs> yeah, and it's not like overwhelmingly cocoa powder or like overwhelmingly marshmallow taste, but it's just like sweet and tasty and delicious. My mom actually found the carrot cake ones, and I got to try those today. Oh man. How are they? Really good, actually. Hmm. Definitely high on the cinnamon, but like, in that way, you expect carrot cake to be, so it wasn't like too cinnamon, I guess. I don't think I've actually... Well, I think I've had it before, but it was like eons ago, A long so time ago. I don't remember yeah. how it tastes at all. Oh, I really like a good carrot cake. <laughs> like, there's some bad carrot cake out there that's, like, low on the carrot high. Cause, like, do you know what spiced cake tastes like? Like a, like a spiced cake with cinnamon? Kind of, I think. Sort of, Okay. Yeah. It's very similar, like, it's definitely like a spice cake sort of base where there's like a lot of cinnamon and a lot of, um, you know, nice, you know, like, that kind of like pumpkin spice-ish kind of crap, you know? Mm -hmm. By the way, we it's picked up a blue page. <laughs> oh, hmm. sorry, I'm just like over here rambling about fucking cake. <laughs> no, 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 please, continue. <laughs> But yeah, it's def it's a spice cake base, but like it has grated or pureed carrot up in the uh, sponge part, mm -hmm. and it I don't know it just kind of adds this nice um nice texture, nice sweet flavor. IDK, it's good, and then you just slather it in cream cheese frosting, and it's like fuck yeah. <laughs> oh man, well, I do like cream cheese frosting. Yeah, I mean, and most carrot cake usually, like, either has, like, raisins or golden raisins, but not always. I mean, I also like raisins, so... <laughs> oh, man, when you come visit, there's a... that Wegmans place that's nearby, they make really good carrot cake. Mm. Like, probably the best carrot cake I've ever had. Oh, um, Yeah, as you can see, there's a kind of broken... Um, clock tower here. Not sure how it's making noise still, considering. But, yeah. Um, there's a little, uh, recorder. Something there attempting too. to turn and failing. So every time I pick up a page, you can see that I, I have it in my hand, and that's just gonna be my icon for the rest of the time. Being. <laughs> Can't put that in your pants for some reason. really neat little uh, kind of like crystal forest going on over here. Rad. You can actually see that there's a red page here too, but if I try to pick it up, uh, the blue page leaves my hand, so we can only pick up one page at a time. Um, Alas. Unfortunately. Sometimes that makes getting all the pages a little annoying, um, but once you know all the puzzles, it's not, like, the worst. Yeah. 
I guess it's more just like, oh, I gotta go back. Mm-hmm. Also, hey, Gloob. Hey, Gloob. Yeah, this is take two. Now that my uh, internet is doing better, I'm not stuttering, <laughs> and the stream isn't struggling to render a 1993 video game. So. <laughs> yeah, we kind of had to trash the first screen, screen stream, unfortunately. It was just not. It was it was not a good stream. Um, like, I, I say we, like I contribute. <laughs> you contribute. <laughs> I'm just here to be sassy. But yeah, and then this is another microphone. We see that uh, it's picking up some wind noises. But there's also... Uh, can I move over there? Can I go over there? No, I can't. The stairs seem to lead into the ocean, I guess. <laughs> over there. We can head down here, and it's dark. But there's a light switch. is that we're at the tower that we saw in the middle of the kind of lake thing. Can we call this a lake when it's open to like this ocean area though? I don't know. <laughs> uh, or is the entire more thing like an lake? inlet I guess? Yeah. I, I We don't know what inlet, the- Inlet, islet, I don't know what to call it. We don't know what the outside of this area looks like so it, we might just be in a giant lake but I have no idea. Shrug emoji. So as you can see, we can kind of rotate, and um, I'm not sure how clear it was when you looked at the tower, but there are a bunch of like, kind of like an uh, antenna dishes, like radio dishes, um, on the tower. So we're picking up the sound, basically. So we want to we want to point this particular sa uh, dish that we're moving towards wherever the water sound is, basically. Uh, so let's. It's a little bit more, I think. No, oh, that's the clock tower. Yeah, I skipped over it. Wait a minute. It, it's a little finicky. Oh, there it is. The arrow starts blinking when you're getting close. Oh, there we go. So, 153.4 degrees, I guess. And now the sound is crystal clear. <laughs> so, we're gonna... You can actually, so if we hit this button... We can see that it'll play us the the combination we need, but first we need to accurately put in, um, find the noise first, basically. Um, I think this one... It's faster this way. This is the chasm, so we can kind of see it from here. the sounds, so let's play a thing. So that was 
uh, crystal, crystal water, wind, chasm, clock, basically. I'll hope I'll remember that. <laughs> yeah. Back in the day, our monitors were like, were like what, 600 by whatever, right? I wonder if these, like, very obvious pixelation of the ground was visible at all. <laughs> Oops. Not that way. Uh, this way. Okay, so now that we know that it was crystal, water, wind, chasm, clock. Okay. Look like those LED strips you you can like buy. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually you rarely go back up this way that I've never quite looked at this hallway in this direction. <laughs> it's kind of neat. Also, this like I'm sorry, but this texture is kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> this this texture is maybe not the best, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's metal though. <laughs> 90s metal textures were extremely hit or miss. Yeah, it's like it's trying to look kind of like. Uh... Hang on, first of all, it's loud, but also uh, we have this kind of submersible esque looking thing. So let's enter. It's quieter inside. Okay. <laughs> um. They, they make it, they try to make it look kind of like pockmarked, I guess, or like, you know, that sort of metal-esque feeling, but it just yeah. looks too, like you, you put like that plastic, um, filter in Photoshop or something. <laughs> yep. Um, can I turn around? I guess not. I can, I can look at the door, but... Uh, we've got this tiny little porthole where we are, and then these controls. Obviously, this isn't doing anything. So let's hit forward. Onward! And upward. And downward. <laughs> and downward. Yes, yeah, so these are the uh, cave systems that he was probably talking about. I'm actually not sure if it's the name of this age is ever mentioned, but this is the Selenitic Age. Um, but yeah, we can actually get up while we're here, but I don't think we can go outside. Yeah, it won't let me. <laughs> I can't fling myself to death out there. <laughs> um, but yeah, you heard. Launch yourself into the center of the earth. You heard a tiny little noise just now. And what you can do is hit this button and rehear it. It's like a little tink. <laughs> um, and we're currently facing north. We can actually change directions, and now we're pointing northeast, so on and so forth, so on and so forth. But uh, you can see that there's a door in the way, and we actually can't. Yeah, we actually can't go forward this way. So the only way we can go right now is north. And of course, because this is the Selenitic Age, everything has been sound puzzles until now, so this is still a sound puzzle. Uh, so basically, this noise means 
north. And you can probably extrapolate that. <laughs> now we got a new noise. It's kind of like a <laughs> chirp. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> um. <laughs> As you can see, west is open. Obviously, it's not south because that's just where we came from. And east is blocked off, blocked off, so this noise is west. This funky chirpy noise. <laughs> I feel like this is a little lost on me. Yeah. Um, but I've come to really appreciate this one because you don't have to write out the entire sequence. Like, um, this sequence is usually called the Maze Runner because mm -hmm. it, it literally is you're going through a maze and you can actually go and hit dead ends and stuff like that. <laughs> no, you actually cannot. They won't allow you. You, you can't die in this game. Uh, except... Unless you count the bad endings. <laughs> I guess technically you can count those as dying. <laughs> but honestly, I would consider them fate worse than death. But yeah. Oh my god. Well, we'll get to those. <laughs> Time for that. Um, but yeah, so like, as I've gotten older, I've come to appreciate this one because you don't have to write down the whole sequence as long as you know what these noises are. You can mm -hmm. navigate the entire thing without ever, like, memorizing the entire, like, track thing. Which is, like, yeah. re really nice. Because it is a long... It is a long series. I've actually written it down and I'm like, this is a lot. <laughs> it is many. But that's the thing. Like, they've designed this puzzle so that you don't have to do that. Yarn. <laughs> Is yarn sassing you? <laughs> yeah, sorry, I just pulled a bit out and it was like knotted off of the skin and I'm like, hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sorry, I was practicing some single crochet in the background. <laughs> no. And also, yeah, it does feel like you, like, there's lots of plenty dangerous situations where you might be able to fall to your death, but I appreciate also with Mist that you can't actually die. Um, Don't want to punish you for exploration. Exactly. Like, the whole point of the game is exploration, so you shouldn't be punished for something like that. <laughs> King's Quest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, King's Quest was funny at least. No, I do, you know, despite that complaint, I mean, there was a fun sense to the Sierra games and how it, like, you know, how you did that sort of Gently thing. Gently sass. <laughs> Gently sass. But there were some... It, you gotta admit, there were some, some bullshit uh, ways to die. <laughs> yeah, there were some really bullshit things. And it was, it did fall kind of prey to the weird point-and-click logic kind of thing. Throw a pie at this yeti. <sighs> Let's not talk about that right now. <laughs> That's my favorite because that was my immediate instinct and I'm glad that my idiocy is rewarded on occasion. <laughs> I do love these little, like, running through, like, different columns and stuff video. <laughs> it's really good. And so... <sighs> It- oh, right. You hear this little, like, Blink. bouncy noise? I don't know what it is. Spunk. So clearly, still can't be south because we just came from there. So this sound is now east. So we have, like, a high tink noise that's north. We have the chirpy noise that's west. We have this weird sprawling noise that's E. Um, and then, obviously, we- will eventually go south, so. But yeah, these 
uh, as you're going through the maze, you actually, it's not all the same looking. It's like you can see some pillars of other tracks, you can see, you take some turns. It's kind of neat. And this is, this is purely from a programming perspective, obviously, that I appreciate it. But it's like, you know, they're saving, they're saving space by making it that you can only see through the porthole, so that's they can get away with making a smaller video um, of just the porthole being animated instead of like like the ent your entire view or something like that. <laughs> so saving space <laughs> on that CD roll. <laughs> <laughs> God, what if it took up a whole megabyte? Can't do that. God. Oh, cowbell. <laughs> cowbell. Yeah, that's her. More of that. That's her south. <laughs> south is cowbell. Yes. Keep going south. Or floppies, right. Did, did they also have a floppy option for a mist? I thought it was like one of those first games that it was like, wow, we're using... Oh, there were some turns there. <laughs> um. But yeah, I, I feel like um, mist was one of those that was like, Push the very first games that were pushing that like oh you can do it on a CD-ROM, but no I guess it makes sense that they would also have floppies for people who at the time didn't have a CD-ROM drive, <laughs> which is so weird to think about now. God seriously. There are some computers that don't have CD-ROM drives at this point now because it's like we don't want to use it anymore. <laughs> it's it's like so weird. I don't know. Yeah. It, we really have come a long way. Yeah, my laptop doesn't have a fucking CD-ROM drive. I had to buy a fucking plug-in thing. <laughs> yeah, it's still a little annoying because, like, we use DVDs and CDs still, but there are some laptops that just don't. I know it takes up space is probably why. But... Yeah. Gaming laptop, yeah. <laughs> IDK. My... Save up space for your SSD or something. I don't know. <laughs> Mine at least has one, thankfully, but... Yeah. Yeah, I just got a USB thing if I need it. I haven't actually had to use it thus far, so I'm literally complaining just to complain. <laughs> <laughs> Back in my day, shakes crochet hook in general direction. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. No, sorry, I'm just being an old lady over here. Uh, but yeah, no, I remember. There is, um... There was just that time when the CD-ROM was really new, and, like, uh, not, not everybody had one, and it was, like, super novel that, oh my god, we can fit so much space onto a CD-ROM! Um, oh my so, golly. There's this, uh, I want to get into that. Is <laughs> there, there's this, like infomercial thing I kind of know about where it's like, oh my god, all the space you can fit into a CD-ROM, and it's just, I don't know, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> god, I love old 90s infomercials. Okay, we're back to Chirp, so that would be West. Actually, I haven't saved yet, I should save. <laughs> Oops. I'll save once I get out of the age. So here's where they oh, first start making it a little bit more complicated. Now you hear two uh, s um, sound clips at once, and basically we hear cowbell and chirp. So basically this means 
we gotta go southwest. So when it's a combination of the two different sounds, then that means we're going in a diagonal direction, basically. So I'm pretty sure that's pretty sure that's southwest, yeah. Straight west. That's north, northwest. <laughs> Yes, I know. I'm the grandma here. <laughs> Man, if you're a grandma, then I'm also a grandma, because we're only three years apart. <laughs> I am the senior grandma here. <laughs> Sitting here with my freaking crochet and my weekly pill caddy, and it's just, it's too hot, kids these days. <laughs> uh, that's northeast, I think. So as you can see, like, this is a fun puzzle, but it is a little long, and that might be why this is not my favorite age. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, sorry, my yarn is being shitty and splitting. This is some cheap-ass yarn. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's just practice, so it doesn't matter. Still annoying. track and I'm like, I'm not sure how I'd feel writing this in actual reality. Honestly. I mean, you're in, like, a con enclosed space, but, like, that would probably- I mean, cons considering that the thing in front of you is the only thing that's tilting and the thing that you're in isn't moving at all, maybe it just means that, like, it's on, like, some gyroscope thing and you're perfectly stable the whole time. <laughs> I don't even know. It's it's kind of interesting though. Oops. That's southeast. Yeah, I think that's southeast. That's cowbell noise, right? I think so. Yeah. Sometimes it's a little hard to tell when it's overlapping like that. Yeah, that would bother me. Oh, hey, you made it! Aw, uh, yes. I think. Usually by the time we get to these lights, it means we've, been, uh, we've made it. <laughs> uh, Yarn will never behave, Black Daisy. It's very sassy. Yep, we're done. We're here. And that's the Maze Runner. <laughs> it's kind of fun. <laughs> um, no, it's if you ever mess up, you can hit this backtrack, and it unfortunately it does send you back to the beginning of the maze somehow, even though you're traveling underground. But <laughs> sure. Oh, it, it's like right flush against this uh, corridor. But yeah. So now, spooky. Spooky, scary. like it's like a space mountain right <laughs> <laughs> honestly honestly why doesn't the theme park made a mist ride yet dude like if there was like a mist themed theme park where you solve puzzles i would fucking go <laughs> god you would be so happy i'd be ecstatic <laughs> i would gladly tag along on that adventure I mean, like if they found a way where like you know it's kind of like one of those tour guide ones where it's like, hey, come into this room, and if you touch this mist book, you'll link to another world, and then they, like, it's like an, 
kind, kind of like the the haunted mansion in Disneyland, where it's like actually an elevator and it t- takes you to like a separate floor or something. But it's like <laughs> you're in another world. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> Ooh. Getting in the shuttle to the other theme parks. <laughs> yep. Parts of the theme oh park yeah, and the those lights are definitely very Space Mountain-y, even though I've never actually been on Space Mountain because I'm a weenie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I went on Space Mountain exactly once, the singular time I went to Disney World, and I actually kind of liked it because I was, I was terrified of roller coasters, like real talk. Before I went to Florida, I had a, I would not, like I cried on like kitty coasters, like with that are were made out of like caterpillars, you know. <laughs> <laughs> But my cousins talked me into going on to Space Mountain, and because, like, it was dark, it wasn't as scary, and it was more like, ooh, stars, aesthetic, TM. For me, the the real... It's the motion, yeah. Yeah, I just feel that feeling of your stomach, like, flying up into your chest kind of gross feeling. I don't like Yeah, it. <laughs> no, absolutely. Definitely, like, I would not recommend any roller coaster if you get that feel to bitch. Real life dungeon, huh? That sounds interesting. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure there's been places that try to be like, ooh, and then you tour into this mystical place and blah blah. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, so every time we reach the end of an age, um, we get back to the mislinking book and we can click here. <laughs> We're back in the library, um, looking at the ceiling. Do, do we just floor up on the ground when we return back? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, we have a page. We have a red page, so... Let's stick it in. Return. must continue. My name is Sirius. I beg you to find me. Remain my pages. You must remain. So we can see Cyrus is a little pushy. <laughs> yeah. But then he is trapped in a book. <laughs> Please get me out of here. The static is killing me. Um, so we can hear him a little bit better now. Uh, again, he's just asking for more red pages. You mentioned something about uh, releasing him from this book. Um, and then he mentioned, you know, don't waste time with the blue book. Uh, something about his brother... And then, I'm wrongfully imprisoned. Um, again, that's all about as much as we can make out. Um, oh yeah, Universal, uh, did you go to the Orlando one? Because I went on the Harry Potter ride, and let me tell you, nobody told me there were going to be gigantic fucking spiders on that ride. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> oh god, I was not happy. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> like, that ride is already kind of like, because you're like flying around, um, I guess it's supposed to be kind of like you're flying around on, on a broomstick. Yeah, 
Um, you're flying on a broomstick and, like, so your legs are dangling, if I remember. And, um, it's like, oh, you're going through, like, the famous scenes of the book or whatever. Here are Dementors, here's this and that and the other thing, here's a dragon. Which is, like, cool. But then you just come to one section and it's fucking... Let's throw fucking animatronic spiders at you, and I'm like, why? <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> and then, and then, the, oh, ri God. the ride paused while we were in the middle of the spiders. <laughs> and I Jesus. had to sit there closing my eyes like I was. <laughs> oh, hugs. Oh, it was, it was sure a thing. <laughs> Like, oh god. It was already like, we, when we went there, I went with my family, and um, it was just really busy or something that day. We waited like over an hour in that line. It, that line took forever. And like, I don't know, it was because they were having like, it seemed like they were having a lot of issues with the ride that day, so it kept like, we kept hearing announcements of like the ride pausing temporarily while they try to like, do whatever or something like that, which might have been why it was taking so long. God. Um, so when we finally got on, and like, again, you know, I figured this ride at least you're like strapped in, and even though you're dangling a little bit, it's not gonna be like super roller coastery or anything. Yeah. Um, so I thought I would be okay. Um, but even then, sometimes I'm a little nervous about that sort of thing. And for the most yeah. part, if I remember, like, the movement itself wasn't bad, but it just fucking, again, I wish that there had been a placard or something telling me there's fucking spiders on this ride. <laughs> Spider. <laughs> it's just got Hugs. I'm sorry. No, it's just... that arachnophobia, man. <laughs> it's... The, the pain is real. <laughs> it's okay. I, I survived. It was fine. Like, again, I just kind of kept my eyes closed during that section, so... <laughs> um, but yeah, so now what we can do is quickly go... Might as well go quickly grab the blue page. It won't take too long. And thankfully, it remembers that we've already entered the passcode, so... We don't even have to worry about it. Bless. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, the the one I went to is um obviously I live in California. So um I went to the the one in LA. Um they don't have the Green Gods ride, so they they only have the um the flying the flying one whatever that's in the castle, the fake Harry Potter castle, the fake Harry Potter castle. The the fake Hogwarts castle. Jesus me. <laughs> <laughs> um the, the castle looks really nice, though, I have to say. Um, it's pretty neat. And, like, the whole, the whole wand thing, like, you ended up getting one of those special wands so that you can, like, stand in a spot and you do, like, the, you do the, like, wave wand thing and it actually activates stuff around the area, which is, like, really cool, actually. It's rad. But a little finicky, because sometimes, you could tell that it's, like, they have a sensor and the tip of the wand has like a special sensor um, so that it can it can detect when you're pointing towards it and whether you're doing the movement correctly. So it's like, it works when it works, but sometimes, you know, it can be a little finicky. Um, but most of the time it was like, it was pretty neat. And then, ah, uh, 